Well, good morning, everyone, and thanks for joining me yet again as we continue to read through Scripture together. Hope you're blessed by uh, the reading of it. And um, this morning we are going to finish the book of Jonah in chapter 4. Now, if you remember in chapter 3, uh, Jonah, having been uh, vomited up by the great fish onto the land, uh, received a call from the Lord the second time for him to go into Nineveh, uh, that great city, and it was an evil city, a wicked city, um, and to go to them and to preach to them, calling them to repent. And uh, so he did, and he went in, and the Lord was mightily at work uh, through the preached word and uh, changed the hearts of many in that city from the greatest of them to the least of them from the king all the way down and uh, the uh, the city repented and turned from their ways uh, the king and the people put on sackcloth and satin ashes um, which was uh, symbolic of uh, sorrow and, and, and repentance and so um, anyhow so uh, the Lord did wonderful things, and he relented on what he said he would do in regards to the judgment that he would bring upon them. And uh, so now in chapter 4, uh, we might anticipate that Jonah would be very excited for the work of the Lord in those people, uh, but yet that's not the case. Uh, Jonah is actually angry. He didn't want God to... Uh, change their hearts and bring them to repentance and from death to life. He didn't want that. And so now we see uh, this closing and concluding interaction between Jonah and the Lord. Let's hear the word of God now. But it displeased Jonah exceedingly, and he became angry. So he prayed to the Lord and said, Ah, Lord, was not this what I said when I was still in my country? Therefore I, I fled previously to Tarshish, for I know that you are a gracious and merciful God, slow to anger and abund, abundant in loving kindness, one who relents from doing harm. Now therefore, O Lord, please take my life from me, for it is better for me to die than to live. Then the Lord said, is it right for you to be angry? So Jonah went out of the city and sat on the east side of the city. There he made himself a shelter and sat under it in the shade till he might see what would become of the city. And the Lord God prepared a plant and made it come up over Jonah, that it might be a shade for his head to deliver him from his misery. So Jonah was very grateful for the plant. But as morning dawned the next day, God prepared a worm, and it so damaged the plant that it withered. And it happened when the sun arose that God prepared a vehement east wind, and the sun beat on Jonah's head so that he grew faint. Then he wished death for himself and said, It is better for me to die than to live. Then God said to Jonah, is it right for you to be angry about the plant? And he said, It is right for me to be angry even to death. But the Lord said, You have had pity on the plant for which you have not labored, nor made it grow, which came up in a night and perished in a night. And should I not pity Nineveh, that great city, in which are more than 120,000 persons who cannot discern between their right hand and their left and much livestock? Amen. There ends the reading of God's word in Jonah chapter 4 and even the book of Jonah. Uh, I hope this has been encouraging to you and edifying to you in your walk with the Lord as you consider and meditate on God's word. I, can, I encourage you to continue to do that today and even the rest of this week and weekend. May God add his blessing to the reading of his word to us, and may God bless you as you continue to seek to walk faithfully with him. Join me next time as we go back to the New Testament, and we'll be reading through the book of Romans. Join me next time. Take care.